This is Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today we're going to discuss how to use the transfer utility to transfer videos from a Canon uh, Vixia HF R300 camcorder. Now this is a standard uh, Canon utility, transfer utility, so uh, this should work with other Canon cameras as well as long as they use this particular transfer utility. Alright, I'm going to start up the program here. Okay, the first thing we need to do is connect this USB cable to the camcorder and then to the computer. And then we need to press the power button and power on the camera so that the computer sees it. And then there are three buttons right here on the Canon and you're going to press the bottom button. And that's going to connect it to the actual uh, computer. It's going to make thumbnails and such for it. You may want to hook up your power supply to do this transfer because if the battery is low it, and it goes out during the transfer it could cause some problems with the process. Uh, we're going to pick this first tab right here, file import. Now there are a couple other tabs here, for instance YouTube upload and Facebook upload. The R300 does not support these particular functions on this utility, although some Canon cameras apparently do. Uh, I usually import uh, files from any camera onto a computer first and then upload them using YouTube's web page if I'm uploading to YouTube. So I don't ever mess with these extra utilities on this type of application just because they're supposed to be convenient, yes, but I don't want to have to get used to a new application to upload every time I change cameras or something. So I try to keep it simple as possible. So we're going to pick video file import. It's going to give you a choice of the source. On this particular camera, we have a, an SD card, which is a memory card, which I bought a time I bought the camera. And if you've bought one of these cameras already, you probably bought it at the time that you bought the camera as well, or they suggested you buy one. Uh, some Canon cameras and other video camcorders have internal memory and the ability to add an SD card. Uh, I always click all even though there's no internal memory on this uh, because I know it will pull everything off of the camera and it's just uh, I like to make habits of things where if I get a camera that has internal memory I'm in the habit already of clicking all so I don't have to worry. Uh, the next thing here is I always click import video files which have not been saved in the computer. That way if you have some videos on the camera that you shot before and haven't deleted from the camera yet even though you have them on your computer it will ignore those and just download the new ones. Uh, the other possibility is import all videos which would import everything off of the camera. You click OK here and uh, it's going to download a file this little red light here will flash on the Canon as it's transferring files. And it has finished um, saving the files to the computer here, so I'll click OK here as well. Brings us back up to the transfer utility. Now if I go over here to my videos, we'll find a f folder called Import Video Data. If I double click on this, I'll see three folders here. Now each one of these folders is for different formats that the Canon uh, Vixia can shoot in. Uh, the first one is AVCH, which is high definition, which is the default uh, format on the camera and the format I usually shoot in. You can shoot in MPEG as well, which is one of the formats that YouTube takes, and uh, that can save you uh, time and trouble if you have it in MPEG already, or you can shoot it in SD which is standard definition which would not be the widescreen. So I'm going to go to the first folder because that's what I shot this uh, particular video in. You'll see right here 
as I'm clicking down through the folder levels, there is, this is a JPEG right here. This is just an image of the actual video. It's like a thumbnail of it. So uh, don't be confused by that. The actual video is one more level down in here. Now here's another file in here that the uh, program writes. Uh, a lot of times you'll see in video folders extra files that are maybe thumbnails or some configuration file that help uh, other programs uh, when they're using the video. Uh, so you can just ignore that. Here's the actual video right here. If I click on this particular video, it will bring it up in Media Player and play it. And uh, if we hover over it, you'll see that it says it's item type AVC HD video. And it's 29.9 megabit. All right, so that's how you use the transfer Canon transfer utility. Okay, so that's how you use the Canon transfer utility to transfer video files from a Canon camcorder onto your computer. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters.